the state of the art for generating images with generative adversarial networks today is the self-attention GAN. Uh, this is the best model that we have for the ImageNet data set today. And the basic idea behind the self-attention GAN is that we would like to get highly realistic examples of all of the different image categories in the image data set, the ImageNet data set. There are a thousand of these categories. And some of them have uh, relatively little structure, like the geyser shown in the upper right here. Generative models have been good at making these relatively unstructured images for quite a while. But what's harder for them is to make images that have a lot of structure, uh, like these birds that have thin vertical legs and a beak, and we need everything to actually fit together in a coherent pattern to make a bird shape. Um, until recently, this is very hard for generative models. And now, using uh, the self-attention layers from a paper called Non-Local Networks in the context of generative adversarial networks, we're able to solve these really hard coordination tasks. So for example, uh, all of these images here are generated by, uh, by, the, by the generator network. And we can actually peek inside and see what the attention was doing while it drew this, each of these images. So here, if we look at this red key point on the dog's eye, we can actually look at the attention map and see where the attention was directed elsewhere in the internal representation of the image as it was generating the eye. So you can see that it primarily attended the dog's face, especially the dog's other eye. And we believe that that helps it to draw a dog with a symmetrical face uh, with both kinds of, with both eyes matching in terms of size and color and shape. In the past with purely convolutional models, it was difficult to coordinate the generation of features that were separated from each other like that. Um, another common failure mode of generative models is that they fail to draw the legs on animals. Here we can look at the attention mechanism for the self-attention GAN and we can see that it actually looks up and down the leg that it's drawing at any one point of the leg to make sure that that leg actually successfully extends downward and separates from the body. And also it, it glances at the other leg to make sure that it's drawing the right amount of legs. It's hard to know for sure that this is exactly what it's doing, but mistakes like drawing too many legs or not extending the legs down far enough went away when we introduced these attention mechanisms. And the shape of the attention maps is consistent with what we would expect for the attention working to reduce those problems. One thing that's really nice about the attention mechanism from the non-local neural networks paper is that it lets us work with attention neighborhoods that have very irregular shapes. In the past, you've seen a lot of papers about attention where you could draw little circles or ovals or, or rectangles of attention mass. Uh, here, we're actually able to draw very flexibly shaped attention areas. Like for example, when drawing the bird, of uh, drawing the tail of this bird, the attention mask goes uh, right along the tail feathers of the bird. And I just wanted to check, can everyone still hear me okay?